Hey and welcome to Never Into With Hour again. So the Help It event is back where we can earn some of the best rewards that you can get in events. And this, yes, is the Help It event. Now it ties in with the Harvester of Nightmares event where we basically can earn the same rewards, earning the same currency. If we look in the store here, we can earn those participation tokens, those challenge tokens and those achievement tokens. Now, unfortunately, you can only obtain one achievement token per event after completing 14 days of that event. You can only ever obtain one of these tokens per event, meaning you'll have to do five of these events to obtain this legendary mount. Is a pretty decent one with having a very similar combat power of like tunnel vision for good single target damage, and the equip power is, yeah, not so great. Alright, it's okay for survivability with critical avoidance, but that's about it. But otherwise, hey, it's a legendary mount, pretty much for free, and account wide. So, I'm not complaining. Other than that, of course, you can obtain coalescent wards and some runic bags and um, bags of holdings with those tokens, which is what I will be spending on them now, since I already have the mount from the previous event. So, be sure to go and complete this event, get a minimum of at least 14 days done in this event and you'll obtain that token of achievement. You can see here, here's your progress bar and you can only complete 21 days. Once you've completed 14 out of 21, you get the token of achievement and that's it. Even if you complete the rest of the event, you won't obtain any more. Even if you purchase the buyout, you won't obtain any more achievement tokens. These buyouts, it's as it says, it's a buyout. It will literally just give you progress. That's it. Once you have this bar full, you won't be able to go and pick up the quest and you won't be able to earn any more currency. So if you have the time, just complete this event day by day rather than purchasing the buyout because it's a waste of your money. Now the primary rewards here are participation tokens which you can get companion and mount upgrade tokens. Main thing you want to be obtaining, otherwise you do have marks of potency here and enchanting stones. Then with the challenge tokens, these ones you'll only be able to earn after you've completed your 14 days. So for the remaining 7 days, you can obtain one of these challenge tokens per day, meaning you'll get 7 of them in an event if you fully max out your 21 days. And you can obtain these best overloads that are in the game right now. Otherwise, if you're not in endgame and you still need legendary insignias, be sure to pick up these packs. Now they will be bound to account so you won't be able to sell them, you'll want to buy them to actually be able to use them. Then you can also, of course, buy preservation wards, which are fiercely expensive, so it might be worth your dime to purchase them from here. As for if you're an endgame player, you definitely want to be picking up these overloads, as they're pretty much the best ones available, like Devil's Precision, more critical strike and accuracy percentage, and Rage of Flames, more pure total damage. So you get what I mean, they're really good. So we've gone over this event. Put simply, you can earn a maximum of 42 participation tokens in an event, a maximum of 7 challenge tokens in an event, and a maximum of 1 achievement token per event. And that's it. The event is Help It or the Harvester of Nightmares event. Currently, that's how it is. They're probably going to introduce more events that share the same currency. So with that said, to go and complete the event, you'll need to go pick up this quest from this guy. You're going to have to be solo, so you can't jump in with a party. And you go to this portal, you just walk over it, and it will take you to hell if you accept. And you end up in this arena place where first you'll have to sign your soul. So you're signing your contract and then you can jump into the arena. Now if you're below 40,000 item level, fortunately now you will get scaled up to 40,000 item level. If you're any higher, you won't be scaled down and it seems I'm stuck. So we'll just type in the stuck command and that should get us out. So don't do what I did and walk into the portcullis while it's still opening. So with that stock command done, we can walk in. Let's switch to smoke bomb again. And you're just going to have hordes of mobs. You're going to have waves of them. You can see under the minimap, we have five waves here. Now, after you complete seven days of this basic uh, arena, it's going to change a little. I believe you're going to have like three waves and they're going to be a bit more challenging and that's it. And then after, I believe, like 14 days, you're going to then have like a, a mini boss. Anyway, I've covered it all before. You can look up the, in those other particular videos where I go through the other 
tiers of this event. You can, of course, use your potions and things like that. Be sure to use your dodge abilities to avoid most of the damage. You're going to have to be playing solo here, so yeah, you're going to be taking all the aggro unless you're dealing less damage than your companion, which would be a bit silly. But um, yeah, so just try and kill the things before they kill you. You will get these buffs like this one right here that will spawn on the ground. They're like power-ups, and this one basically has fire of the hell, so it'll uh, basically deal lots of damage to enemies in this big area. Make sure we heal up. And when that blasts off, you can see they all take that damage. Now, I probably should switch to the boon where I buff up my healing potions. Yes, that would be advised. Let's not die here. I'm talking to you guys, so I'm not really paying a lot of attention to how I'm actually playing. We can get through these waves pretty easily. It doesn't matter how quickly you kill the mobs, as long as that they're all dead by the time your timer's out here. So, it's pretty much just, yeah. Even if you kill them really quick, they just keep spawning and you get more of them and more of them, etc. I don't know how easy this going to, is going to be on 40,000 item level. You can see I'm not doing the best here. You might want to bring in a, a health stone or an artifact that would heal you. Even the mount combat power that would heal you could help out, but that's pretty abysmal. Anyway, you guys should be fine. I'm going to skip to the end here because we just have to clear the remaining enemies. And that's like your first round complete. And you're going to have four more of them now. Then it throws you into the next round, which again lasts two minutes. So overall, you're going to be sitting in here for ten minutes every day, just killing these mobs and completing those quests. As you can see here, we have a new buff, which is like the shield one. We activate this and it gives us whole load of shield so it gives us a lot more survivability you might want to save it for when you're in a pinch you can save those buffs but they won't stack up if you walk over a new one it'll pick up the new one and replace the one you had now one thing to keep in mind it can be very frustrating but if you do fail you can always come back and try again so on to the final round now all of these rounds won't get like harder and harder despite what you might think they're just the exact same again and again just same mobs another thing to keep in mind is you can only complete this on one character no matter how many you have of them it's unfortunate as the rewards are great but it is what it is and we're finishing up the final round there we go and that's your quest complete and you go and you exit the portal you get put back in protector's enclave very annoyingly back all the way up here so we'll just have to run all the way back down and then we go and hand in our quest and we obtain our token of participation so you just want to be doing that every day and we can see our progress and hell pit has gone up by one day so that's everything for this video i'm currently riding atop the mount which you can obtain from hell pit so this is what it's going to look like Nothing too special, just a horse with some more fancy golden armor. Anyway, hopefully I've presented this well and I was clear what I went through. And if I did, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.